gente, gente, what's up? Hello, beautiful people of the internet. I hope that you are thriving, not just surviving during all of this craziness that is happening happening in the world right now. Um, am I doing okay? You know, I'm getting pastier by the day. I um, am getting really good at making homemade lattes and I am in the middle of applying a job, so you know. Okay, so what are we doing today? What are we talking about? So I'm very excited because I was talking with my friend the other day and she basically told me, Greta, I don't wanna wear face masks out in public because I feel like I look dumb or the face mask doesn't really fit my face well and I don't know what to do. And then I came up with the idea, I was like, you know what? What if I make a YouTube video about how to make your own DIY mask that you can wash, that you can adjust according to the size of your face, that you don't even need to know how to sew for this, girl? I got you. The CDC actually recommends that Americans actually wear face masks out in public. Even if you don't have a surgical face mask or a medical face mask, making your own is actually great because we can reserve those medical and surgical face masks for people who are on the front lines who actually need them and need to be a little bit more protective because they're, are, they're dealing like face to face with people with the virus. So Assista is here to tell you and show you how to make that face mask, how to look cute in a face mask, and how to just get rid of that self-consciousness. I mean, by now, I'm sure no one would question, okay, girl, <laughs> why is she wearing a face mask? And the key, honestly, is to have a face mask that fits your face. So I'm going to teach you how to make your own, and then I'm going to show you how to look cute and style it so that you can be confident and look at it more as an accessory and less as like a thing that's on your face because there's a virus going around and the world is falling apart. Okay, so let's get started and let's do this. Let's protect ourselves and look cute. Okay guys, are you ready for the easiest DIY in your whole freaking life? So what you're gonna need is a piece of cloth. So I actually cut this one out from this really old t-shirt that I had. So I just basically cut a rectangle, I guess, from this part of the t-shirt. I just used these scissors and it doesn't have to be perfect. You see that this is like all kinds of janky, but yeah, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be perfect and it really doesn't matter the size of your cloth. As long as it's like a reasonable size, it'll work. Okay, let me stop playing with these. It's kind of freaking me out. And after you have cut out your piece of cloth, the only two other things that you need are these two rubber bands that I have here. You can use hair elastics, you can use rubber bands, basically anything that you have in your house that is elastic. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna fold this from the bottom to the middle. Step one. Step two is you're gonna do the same thing from the top to the middle. There you go. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing from the bottom to the middle. And then again from the top to the middle. Boom. And then you're gonna take one of your rubber bands and you're gonna just put it on one side of your almost ready face mask. You're gonna take the other one and put it on the other side of your almost ready face mask. There you go. And then what you're gonna do is, so the great thing about this DIY face, <laughs> so the great thing about this DIY face mask is that you can, number one, you can wash this after you use it, which they recommend you do wash it if you go out in public with it. Um, but you can also adjust it so you can move this further out. If you got a little bigger face, if you got a, like a pea sized face like I do, then you can just kind of move it in a little bit. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna fold this in. You're gonna fold this in on the other side. And there you go, you got your DIY face mask. So basically, you just put this on your ears 
and this if you're wondering if this slips out it does not i actually the first time i tried this i was like this is totally not gonna work this is gonna slip out um but because your face is kind of holding this down you put this over your mouth and this is what people see on the outside it doesn't slip it's crazy it's like it's like magic so i have it right here so when you're ready to put it on you basically like I said, the little two flaps are on the inside and you just stick it on your face. It works! You see? <laughs> I'm so amazed that this works. This is so cool. I'm gonna be making so many of these. It's like when I found out how to make scrunchies no one's old t-shirt was safe, okay? Let me just say that. Now that we've made our beautiful, lovely face mask, please excuse, <coughs> I'm out of breath because my allergies are coming for me. So I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on how you can look cute or whatever with your face mask and just to, I don't know, just to share how you can pair a face mask and make it look like a fashion statement. So turn your face mask into a fashion statement. So there's some birds chirping outside, so please excuse the birds, but they're kind of cute, right? Um, but this is probably my favorite way to wear a face mask is to turn it more into like a casual street style look. So I've been super inspired by Eastern culture. Um, I was looking on Pinterest and I saw this look a lot. So I threw on this oversized t-shirt and these biker shorts from Mango and then these platform shoes and it's so cute. Oh my God. So another tip that I have for how to make a face mask look cute is to match the color of your face mask to the color of your outfit. So I use this black t-shirt with my black face mask and I added a pop of color with the shoes. Okay, girl, this is super cute. You look like chic and you look like a warrior. And also these baggy mom jeans are obviously always gonna be in style. And it's super comfortable and a great way for you to feel like you actually tried. Okay, so do you guys remember Billie Eilish circa January of this year during the Grammys? So she rocked her Gucci face mask more as an accessory, but what really caught my eye was the dangling earrings that she wore. So I recreated that look with these huge, bold, dangly earrings. And I also threw on a blazer, which she also was wearing a blazer with the look. And I just feel like, mm, your Zoom meetings are not ready for this outfit. I just love the way that you can make it a little bit more done up. And here I am winning my Grammy. I'm so funny. Um, but yeah, love this look. Super, super chic. So I actually really love the look of a dress with a face mask. The dress gives you kind of like a girly vibe, but the face mask gives you like that sporty, edgy look. And I don't know, I just really love the contrast of these two really different aesthetics. And now that spring is a coming, I feel like this is the best time to whip out your dresses. Of course, if it's still a little bit chilly where you live, you can always throw under a, uh, a white tee underneath or obviously a sweater and I threw on super cute shoes you can't really see them my angle was a little off but these shoes from Anna their stories super cute and so spring and oh love this one since you're already adding another fabric to your face, I think it's really cool to mix up the fabrics and the textures in your look. So play with sheer tops and give the look a little bit more of a twist. So I wore this really sparkly top from Brandy Melville and to make the sparkles pop a little bit more, I added this uh, dark, well, it's a black, it's a black one. <laughs> this black, um, Oh my gosh, what is it called? A tank top, a black tank top underneath. And I just feel like it's super cute. And then this skirt is probably one of my favorite skirts of all time. It's like this silky material and I love the color. And just like all these textures are super cool together. So love this look. What'd you think? Did you, I, I hope 
that you uh, are inspired to do this on your own and to do this at home, do this with your whole family. And it's fun, you can switch up your face masks now. Like they can be like your phone case cover now. Like you can switch it up based off of your outfit and you're protecting other people, you're protecting yourself, you're feeling more confident, and we're also able to reserve those actual medical face masks for people who need it. So this is just an all around like win-win. Please tag me on Instagram or anywhere. I don't really use Twitter. Do I even have a Twitter? I feel like I had a Twitter, but. Um, but if you make this, or if you recreate one of the outfits, or whatever, if you just wanna say hey, uh, just feel free to DM me on Instagram. I love talking to everyone on Instagram, and I spend way too much time on Instagram. Just holla at your sister, and I'd love to chat or see your recreations. And I will see you in my next video. Adios, bye.